after going through all the guidelines, I'm very happy to say that with 50.23 meters, you have broken the record and this is the world's tallest bamboo sculpture. Through St. Vincent Ferrer, I have decided to come back to you, Kapalian, and I'm here to serve our town, Payamba. Bali ko, pawilin ko, aruon tan tutulungan ko. Let no one of us be alone and be poor. Now we feel the God's unending love, grace, mercy, and witness the miracle that is happening in our town here and now. This St. Vincent Ferrer statue and this prayer fact is a gift from God to you through my humble self and Nina. Benefit from it, enjoy it, share it. I pray to God that through St. Vincent Ferrer, I may have spiritual and physical health and strength to serve Him. I may have the courage, wisdom, and security to serve you without reserve, and that we may become the kind of people God wants us to be. Please pray for me. I love you all. When Father So invited me to stand for him on this August celebration, on the occasion of the 400th year of this place, this parish, being a parish, and 600th year of entry of Saint Vicente Ferrer to heaven, I did not hesitate to accept the invitation because I uh, really want to visit again after having been away for eight months of my two years of my stay here as uh, Auxiliary Bishop. It is my honor and privilege to stand before you today. Where I am now, as a bishop, and this place, they must be married. You know why? This is Bayambang, and I am in Bayambong. St. Vincent could be considered as one of the brightest stars among the saints in heaven. We always say, God is good. Well, uh, God is good all the time. Our faith is telling us, yes, God is good. But it doesn't mean we will be free from pain, from hardships from personal struggles, communal problems. The point of the matter is that in the life of Saint, Saint Vincent, there is so much challenges amidst the goodness of God. And one of the challenges in his time, if you read his, his uh, biography, his history, in his time, there are two popes elected fighting one another. And this called this led to total division among the, the church members. What he did was, in order to be an answer to the challenge of the time, instead of leaving the church, instead of hating the church because of its leaders, instead, he allowed himself to be more embedded to the light of the church by prayer. More problems, more prayer. Deeper problems, deeper prayer. He was announcing the good news and at the same time he's denouncing evil in himself to himself ang lagi niya sinasabi makasalanan ako wala ako nagagawa pa sa Panginoon pero lahat ng tao they are drawn to him he is like a magnet his words captivated the hearts of people his example lead them to uh, penance and conversion and yet this man is telling 
I am a sinful man. What an act of humility. God wants us to be freed from sin. Pero kuminsan, ang, ang dasal yata natin, hindi yung Lord, free me from sin. Ang dasal yata ay, Lord, let me be free in sinning. So, parang kailan lang po. No? Uh, we were really preparing for this day to come. Uh, marami pong sakripisyo ang pinagdanan po natin just uh, to prepare for this day. And uh, ito na po, nandito na po tayo, uh, Wajatila, and the, the feeling is overwhelming. On this celebration of the double jubilee of the parish, 600th year entry of St. Vincent into heaven, and 400th year of this parish, his feast of the day reminds us to be vigilant, to be prepared, to be ready, because God comes to us every single day of our lives. And to do so, the Word of God offers us so many different ways in fulfilling the will of the mighty Lord who comes to us every single minute of our lives. I pray that each one of us may be have an open heart and mind. In so doing, like St. Vincent, we will be witnesses of faith, we will be doers of good, and we will be joyful and active God's disciples like this angelic Dr. St. Vincent.